What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play campaign as Sweden. So to pick up where we left off, we have the force under Anders Skolabrand picking up, or well, following on from our um, successful um, engagement in the last episode. We are going to push on and take the city of Oldenburg. And I don't foresee this to be too much of a problem because the bulk of the enemy forces are militia. So let's attack and destroy the remaining force. Now I think Oldenburg I might actually bring into the fold this time. Uh, it can be a bit... Hmm. I do, so with my decision to liberate Hanover, I do like my decision to liberate Hanover. Because it means that it brings an additional army into the fjord quicker than I can do. Quicker than I could have uh, built one. Some and it's a bit of a... Of, uh... Um, yeah, but I think it's quite an interesting thing to do, to every so often liberate certain nations, especially when, it, when it's worthwhile. So the enemy are in this square. We can drive in from two directions. So let's take... Let's take some infantry to form a forward line to push in. Then let's take our remaining infantry and militia to form a position here on the flank. My light infantry out wide. So let's put my first of all, let's have a look actually. This is the unit one of our units of heavy cavalry. Grassier Regimente. Regiment. Looking great in their nice big breastplates. So I want to keep those near my troops to protect them then as far as my hussars go I can dip those around the line especially putting them a few of them like here between our two armies to make sure nothing gets no one gets into trouble uh, let's take a howitzer they can push up our 12 pounders hmm. they're probably better place to get to about here maybe with our sixes, so let's bring them forward as well. A general can follow behind the line. The halt button on the left. Quiet, you. Okay, so we've got some cavalry on the march, but they're running towards our infantry, so we've got a bit of time. Get my hussar out wide. So my Vavade might, might fire some musket shots at the Chevaux Leger. No, it's like they're not going to be within range. Oh no, there they go. One of them had been knocked down. Now they're close enough, my hussars can charge. Enemy morale suffering quite badly considering they have very little strength. So let's let my cavalry kill them for a little bit longer. Push up my line. Where they go, that unit's been broken. Advance my cavalry. Get my general up. Good stuff. But I think we can do quite well to surround and destroy the enemy here. It's only a general staff unit that's exposed. I'm hoping my Hussar unit can provide a bit of information on what's going on over here if there is anything. We've got good visibility on what's going on here, so that suggests there's, there must there could either be some of them in those trees. So let's bring up my this unit of hussars. In case that's true. So this line, to be honest, can probably stand to push forward further. It was only a convenient position for an art from an artillery perspective. Aha! 
the enemy has exposed himself. My light infantry leading the way. Looks like they haven't yet decided to commit to action. Yeah, my hussar can stay here because they can protect if anyone pushes into the flank of my line. My artillery's open fire. From this raised position, they got quite a good feel the fire. Let's make sure they don't all just focus on the general. Unlimber my howitzers. <clears throat> so this isn't all of them, so it makes me think there might be a couple of them, like here, if they've deployed in one line. Deploy them up. So these men are going to run the final distance to get into range. cautious about what could be in those trees so we're going to continue to advance here as well yeah they may have got the opening shots off first but my men are active they're not tired there's my Feldtaubitze you're actually out of range let's limber up Bring my cuirassier to bear. Because they can stand up to the. Oh, hello. So that hussar unit can hit light the light fusiliers. Are an excellent choice for riding down lighted. Yeah, there is a unit in the trees. Charge my cuirassier in. against the local partisans because they can then charge on into the infantry and the grenadiers beyond we have killed their generals. Now they the generals killed play. over there in one of our charges field howitzer push them up a bit further Air back. It looks like the Landwehr garrison are pulling out of, or well, largely pulling out of the forest. Yeah, routing, routing. Charge my horse guards into the mix. they don't really have much of a choice if they don't charge in okay so that hussar regiment can eat up that local partisan unit bring my cavalry in and there's another unit so that's a few units in here Kill the local partisans, just kill a few more of them to make sure they rout. We'll make sure they, they're not as likely to come back and then pull my hussars back.
pull my Curiosier back. You mean attack the Hussar, attack the Lanvey Garrison unit. Get my cavalry, heavy cavalry away, my Lat Dragonair, Dragooner, Dragonair. It's going to smash into that Lanvey Garrison unit. Let's pivot our uh, field artillery to engage the units on the flank. Get our cavalry back. Push up our infantry mostly. These units can continue to engage the units routing across the front. The unit of militia is not really engaging, so let's pivot them. Glorious victories are soon to be yours. My howitzer are unlimbered. And my light dragoons out of the action as well. I had to halt my infantry advance because infantry does have a a momentum or inertia to deal with. Advance up to the woodland. Some good artillery shots against them. They haven't killed any. How it's a drop some shells into the woods. There you go. The enemy's trying to. Patriot this mother and hide in the woods. But we will dig them out. Although they do look quite nice. Except this guy. Non-regulation clothing. Contraband. The 20th and 21st to advance. Dragoons advance, then charge the Hussar. Six pounders are out of fight are out of range. How it's a fire coming in. We're advancing into the woods. So the garrison is holding on. But the fifteenth. And this unit of Varvada infantry are charging in. Yeah, the enemy on the flank have been destroyed. They are pivoting. In response to the devastating hammer blow that's about to be struck. There are times you don't have to say anything <laughs> when you watch games like these. Aha! Enemies in the woods. One last force. Local partisans that have come back from routing. So when this unit here gets into position, these local partisans will be... Oh, someone else came back over here. Oh, Lanvey Garrison. They're going to go down. 
These are my light infantry. All these men are falling back. They're acting as partial cover. Now this unit's collapsed in the woods. There's another unit that's come back. But my horse guards are fresh, my cavalry are fresh. Ready for the second round. My horse guards, my heavy cavalry. They are fresh. They're wavering. Didn't even get to properly charge them. Another unit came back. There it is. This unit of garrison, this Lambert garrison unit. Although similar to last units that have tried to hold off, um, what they're going to find is first of all, let's turn my howitzer off. Okay, they've routed. And there's another unit. Hussar engage the partisans. And this Swiss infantry unit charge the partisans. Commit to battle. <laughs> there you go. So that is the Oldenburg garrison destroyed. And that is the city taken into our um, empire. So this caught me out. Of, uh, <laughs> it has caught me out in the past. So technically, that's the end of the, the true world domination. That's, that's the end of the world domination in the Swedish campaign. So you have to continue. We are going to occupy Oldenburg. Then we are going to give it some upgrades, which isn't really a massive amount of use to us because we have, we can't recruit anything. So it's a good freezer. Mentioning dispatches for Hans Henrik von Essen. Good. But the one thing you have to do is this campaign one thing down here. You have to click tick. You have to check it, otherwise you will not be able to continue the campaign. You can hit, you'll hit enter until the cows come home, but nothing will happen. Um, but then this force back up here, let's carry on our recruiting. So let's get a life Livetgar Tilhast and a Kursier regiment, Hussar regiment, and a Lata Dragonair regiment. And let's also get three Bjornborg. Just get some um, three in Delta. Then that will be another force completed. And then let's start to build. A force to replace that. So get a unit of lifeguard and a Svenska guard unit plus how it's a unit. Good. So we need to keep keep on recruiting. As far as research goes, um, we're not immediately. Nothing immediately is on the horizon. We do have, now have a frontier with uh, uh, the Batavian Republic, so that's quite good. Um. But we're, we're we're pretty we're pretty good terms of everyone. Good terms of Britain, 127, 127 for Austria, 105 for Prussia. Plus seven for the Ottomans, plus eight for, for Spain. But that should be getting better as well. Good. Until then, turn. What we could really do with is uh, France being a bit more of a threat in Eastern Europe, because then they could. Start to attract the attention of people like Prussia. Because they are stacking a lot of troops. But that's why we have to kind of keep continue recruiting. We have to keep recruiting troops. 
so that the AI never comes to the conclusion that, the, that an attack is worthwhile. But we will be wanting to push on towards um, the Ottomans, uh, not the Ottomans, the, the Dutch. Construction completed. So our fortifications are built, which is great. We've recruited another 80 gun ship of the line to the Swedish Navy. I might just get another one on the go, because we've got six of them we can build. So let's get that and then get one more 74. Could probably do with some brigs and frigates, really, to do some low level transport stuff. And let's upgrade Oldenburg's build, uh, government building. Or one of them to a military academy. Apart from that, we just need to uh, replenish. Yeah, two turns till we get mass mobilization. I'm pretty sure all my. Do we have any super ministers? All my ministers are currently plain Janes. Fair enough. Let's hit end turn. Kaiser term Osterreich. Because right now Prussia doesn't really have a front with France yet, uh, so it's a bit of a bit of a concern. But if they declare on me, that could cause the entire alliance structure to court to fall apart, and then that might actually be good for us. Hmm. Good old Kingdom of Spain. I mean, Britain might not like that I'm trading with you, but I'm not going to stop. Let's get a sloop guarding this port, and then I can pull this. Um, is that, if I limit on sloops, I can build. My god. What brigs? Oh god. I can pull this militia unit back to this force here. She'll wait for the four cavalry, but the howitzer unit will be recruited before the final unit of heavy cavalry. But that's okay. So, the force that attacked the city is in good shape. But I want Mr. Monison to be replenished. Because I like having two armies in... I like trying to have um, at least two armies in good condition. Because what that allows you to do is to send one force forward, take the brunt of the enemy attack, and then... Hmm, looks like the Prussians are pushing on. Through my territory into the Dutch. Okay, so then we might have to attack first. <laughs> um... Because then, actually, that could lure the uh, the Prussians into a large battle. Interesting. Yeah, if I push my camp, my um, garrison force forward. Ooh, uh, I thought the Bavarians might have taken Cleves to the south, but apparently not. Mass mobilization researched good news maybe go on to well grand battery gives us bonuses to artillery accuracy which is pretty useful upkeep is good to be honest actually upkeep is really quite good especially as on my army i oh, know you need to carry on with dialectics schleswig might go on for standardized artillery because that uh, we're starting to recruit more artillery now so you can't well your your artillery as a army as a whole can't get there so let's get you within range. Well, not within range, but close enough. If Amsterdam pushes, if the, if the Dutch push, the Prussians push, they might get uh, repelled, as long as we're not too close. Because we can't get there. If we go cross country. I mean, if they attack, I will not support them in battle. And I will hopefully see them get repelled. That could be a bit of a bummer if they take Amsterdam. Still, we'll just push on and take Brussels. That will be the thing to do. So we've got two more turns. Again, we've still got that loose unit of artillery. Actually, I might preemptively enlist a new general. Lars Roma. Good, he's got some good bonuses. So let's get Mr. Roma out of Stockholm. Good. Let's hit end turn. I mean, if the Dutch sally out and attack me in Amst uh, near in Holland, 
I will retreat and allow the, the, the Prussians to fight them first. What I'm going to do is... Let's not join any wars. Let's just trade tech. Good stuff. It's a lot of Prussians. It's a lot of Prussians. Call Napoleon, do something. They're pushing forward. Get repelled. Oh, they got... Oh, they didn't have the... They didn't have the stones to do it. I'm not going to advance any further until my other army's in position. Ooh, take cleaves. Opportunity to intercept. I mean, I might just auto that. Oh my god! What? Well, that's a... <laughs> okay, okay. So that's my lesson learned. Cannot auto things in Napoleon Total War 3. Very well. Letter of Dem Oh, it's because you're not actually... I'm going to stand you guys here. Okay, so what do we need? Uh, five... Five units of infantry, really. God, that was a bit of a bummer. Oh well, at least we've got another force here that's ready. Ready to rock and roll. So they don't get sunk on the way. I oh know, sorry. We're short one cavalry unit. Uh, but let's get a... To be honest, actually, do you have any... I mean, you could recruit, recruit from here, but that'll take... Well, it'll take... It'll take fairly long. Six turns to get here. It's to be eight turns for one unit to get over there. It will be easier to just send them over by ship. What might be useful is actually just to start transporting some Finnish troops over. Although... We do want... This force does need... Another unit of skirmishers, plus three infantry. So we can probably do that, stand to do that here, really. So let's get a unit of grenadiers for that army. A unit of light infantry. And I'm pretty sure it was a space for two more units. So the heavy cavalry goes for the existing army. The two units of elite infantry go for Mr. Roma. Okay, well that was a bit of a pain in the ass, but oh well. General available, Sven Zettisberg. Good stuff. So workers were on strike, but now we've, we're have back to keep the peace. Very well. But yeah, lesson learned. Cannot auto-resolve even with a overwhelming force. Must always fight every action. Bit of a pain in the ass, because there are times where you just really want to auto-resolve, but you know, I've been burned now. Ooh, nah, that's really bad. Hmm. <laughs> so what has to happen? I can't back up Hanover because I don't want to be at war with ev with all these people. But then again, do I use this as the opportunity to force them to make a decision about who they back? Is now the time? And I would almost say no, not while Napoleon is still a threat. So I'm going to have to decline break the alliance they want me to join see that was i was kind of already thinking about doing that anyway let's not give you a tech oh even that gets rid of their tech fine i just made that worse i'm gonna have to go take hanover prussia has taken that as an opportunity to sally to, to advance and siege amsterdam 
God, this has gone. This has just got worse. Hanover wants peace. We can't give it to them. We're going to have to take the territory and make it Swedish. Because I don't want this happening in future. So. Order. It's going to take a turn for these guys to embark. Don't, I'm not happy that they're. I'm not happy that Prussia's got Amsterdam, but we could take Cleves. So if I take. Well, Hans Henrik von Essen needs to siege Hanover. I need to grab that territory before the Prussians do. So I'm going to maintain the siege. I don't want them to take it and cut me in half. I would like to take. This I'm hoping that the Prussian, the, the Dutch repel the the um, Prussians. Get my militia in or back. So, Mr. Roma, okay, it's gonna take a bit of time. It's gonna take time for this army to be brought back up to strength. Well, even with replenishment, anyway. So let's hit in turn. We're probably going to see Hanover Sally. In which case we will prepare to destroy their forces against our wall. But yeah, I don't think... That wasn't the time to declare war or, or risk upsetting the Allies. I'm looking at Holland. It's still not Prussian. So... The the, uh, the Dutch may have successfully repelled their attack. Here we go. So the Hanover garrison is pushing out. A couple of units of infantry. They've got some light infantry. But um, it's almost an entire army of militia with a couple of units of infantry. Yeah. Well, let's prepare to defend. Lesson learned again. So in this, in this episode we've learned... Okay, you can't really... Um, you can't really... Auto resolve, and you cannot now really create these independent little kingdoms because you just get screwed over when your allies declare war on you, on on them. So we can, so our guy is the more experienced guy, so we can see what where they've deployed. Okay, let's create. Because to be honest, militia is uh, is reasonably sturdy in this game. Let's put that there. Let's put a 12 pounders firing at the back. Let's put our sixes in the line on the right. Uh, where is this militia unit? Is he not in the line? No, he's not. Very well. I may as well make my militia units deploy trenches. So my light infantry and my skirmishes are going to be on the left. One regiment of cavalry on each flank. Well, maybe not deploy there, because that's where the artillery is going to be firing. Howitzers deploy here. General to the right of the trees. Howitzer isn't firing. Well, it shouldn't be long until the howitzers start firing. Push up my dragoons on the left. Send up our skirmishes. Just get my howitzers to attack in the centre. Oh, the first light foot, that's a good target. 
Oh, they've tied their own counter battery. Where's their howitzers at? They're here. My 12s try and, argue, try and outgun them. Militia and militia. Yeah, they're aiming after my guns. Okay, so that's Fell Jaeger, it's their skirmishers. My right flank can be offensive because we are looking to gain the superiority on the left. You're going to get into a position. Now my my line is in a position to engage that unit of Feltjäger. It's way too far. It's way too long range to start turning these guys into shrapnel. Switching these guys to shrapnel shot. You men should open and pour a good volley into the enemy there. Keep my cavalry working up the flank. Charge the militia. Fall back, because they formed a little defensive square. Six pounders open up. Enemy cavalry is in the mix. Looks like they're trying to focus on my cavalry. Push up my flank. You guys, yeah, you guys can engage the flank on there with skirmish fire. Run, 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 run you guys into the square, because that will break the Hanover Cavalry. You men can hit the Feltjäger Corps, get my artillery to pound the centre. Which ones? Oh, my skirmishers, that's fine. Keep my cavalry wired. My artillery keep engaging. Where's my howitzers? Attack the militia in the centre. My general in the centre. Newman advance because we're getting some good angles on the enemy here. New men engage the second regiment of militia. Skirmishers have come back. Keep our cavalry wide. If you guys get into position, you can annihilate the second. These are my grenadiers.
So they're charging us on the right. Get my cavalry to hit that unit of Feltjaeger. Oh, they went flying. And trot my cavalry back. Spy on my men in the center. The militia are charging, are getting ready to charge my. Well, they are charging. My Felt Jaeger are going to go down. How it's attack the enemy in the distance. Let's make our fire a bit more efficient in a few places. Militia on the flank. This unit's wavering. Hopefully we can... Well, they're exhausted from the running. Another unit of militias going down. This unit forms square because the second light horse are coming in. My dragoons chase down that felt jaeger. Six pounders engage a third unit of foot. Cavalry are done for. Push up our left flank. Bring back our cavalry. This unit needs more cavalry. She might have to charge the first regiment of foot because they're upset. But let's push on the right flank. Maybe the first regiment are down. Newman blast the third regiment. They do look pretty good. This battle in the woods keeps raging on. We haven't entirely repelled the Hanoverian fire. But they're engaging in point blank range, so we want to work on. Sorting them out quickly. There we go. Two units of Hanoverian cavalry, which you should be careful of. Seamen so blast the third regiment. Okay, so the enemy, so the six pounders can go silent. Bring the cavalry back because there's a militia unit that didn't get the message. The enemy have broken in the centre in the woods. The enemy cavalry, they're, they're exhausted, so they're losing the desire to fight very quickly. My men are winded. Push up my line. So those men have charged my infantry. I'd be curious to see how well they 
my light infantry stand up to the cavalry. Yeah, they did break them. My cavalry broke the first regiment of militia on the flank again. So let's bring them back. My light dragoons have got a good angle on the first regiment of horse. This is their, where their general is. Plus a unit of militia, but if their general goes down, they all go down. General's down. Charge the militia. Shift my artillery fire into the centre. There we go, that's the second regiment down as well. Yemen pivot to surround their line. Yemen surround this Felt Jaeger unit. There you go, the jaws are starting to close. But there we go. The jaws of the jaws of the Swedish line surrounding to engulf the, the Hanoverians. So who remains? Their artillery is still in here. This unit of infantry should do a real number on the Feltjäger Corps. Let's attack some of the guys that are running away. Because the Felt Jaeger are going to collapse. Not entirely unexpected. But with that manoeuvre, the enemy Hanoverians are surrounded. All that's left are their artillery and a Fort Jaeger Corps. Hello! Militia have returned. They always return. But usually it's better, well, it seems like it's better to focus on the army that you've got trapped rather than always having stuff penciled away deal with units that come back from retreating because when they come back they're never that strong they're trying to get their guns out to safety He does a wavering already, so they shouldn't last that long. And they didn't. Same with these chaps. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Ooh, that's, that's actually not good news. Get all my artillery to focus on them. <laughs> this last Felt Jaeger Corps. Obviously, there's another unit that's come back as well. 
This is why I think in general I'm moving towards armies with a bit more cavalry in than two. Just this is mean. Oh, there's a unit of militia that's come back. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Okay, let's re begin to uh, redeploy elements of my line. I know. <laughs> He's broken, exhausted. My cavalry can try and get a bit of oomph back. So you guys might try and attack the. They were exhausted, but now they're very tired. So hopefully, they can break the shield of Lamvert. Now they're wavering as well. My guys are in much in a much better place than their guys. We got him. Okay, all my artillery. Ceasefire. around and engulf those units. So the units on the flank need to run while the men watch marching into the Valley of Death can walk. These silly, silly fools. See, they're still wavering, but they're they're wavering, but they're shuffling about, being like, "Oh, I don't know." Go on, tenth regiment, unload on them. Oh, the officer fired his pistol as well. There we go. Oh, for God's sake, look at that. There's always one. Okay, let's speed this one up. <laughs> it's only one last unit of felt yig. Oh, there's another one! It's the artillery men have come back. Yeah, I definitely need more cavalry in this army to pursue and destroy um, units that have routed or I can have more of them you know pursuing and destroying rather than just rather than having to keep pulling them back yeah that Hanover unit is broken And then this bayonet charge. Took care of the second regiment. So, f oh, look at that. Okay, good. I <laughs> say so they came back as well. There we go, for the second time, <laughs> we have destroyed the Hanover forces. And this might be an auto resolve we actually do, because. 
Look at it. Yeah. We're going to loot it because we get a bunch of cash and they don't hate us too much. And it's going to be cheaper to just do that. There we go. It looks like Prussia has been sent reeling. The Battle of Utrecht defeated by Batavian Republic. Good. So they held them back. Great. So as you guys can sail to Oldenburg with all speed. 24 gun frigate can pick up. To be honest, do I just nick one of your units? It's five units. Like I said, we worked tight. One, one skirmisher and three infantry, so I might just nick. Wait, did I say... One skirmisher, four infantry. Yeah, that was a silly decision. Okay, I might take... Well, I might really take all of those because they don't have my other army doesn't have any guard infantry either. Good. Okay. One more turn to dialectics, and that gives us university upgrades. You advance up to that force there. Good. Hanover brought back into the fold. Let's hit end turn. So now, the Prussians are in a bit of an iffy situation. Because now they don't have... Well, they've lost uh, their, their frontier territory, which means that we can now take it. Well, I mean, unless they get there first, which is entirely possible. Hmm, Saxony might be getting involved as well. We don't have any relationship with Hessen, but... They shouldn't, asterisk, get into trouble with us. So we got dialectics, so that means our colleges are going to be upgraded, or universities are going to be upgraded to classical universities. And they're going to work on the abolition of slavery. That gives us plus one happiness, and that'll help offset the growth of our educational classes. Good, where's my army? So I don't want to necessarily push on Amsterdam itself. I want to push on Cleves. So let you guys deposit your men. The frigate drop them off at Oldenburg. So then this army at Scandinavia. you got one light infantry unit. You're getting a grenadier unit. Get a unit of lifeguard infantry. To Kugen et Varvade. The last three Bjornborgs, one in Delta, and let's get another unit. Let's get a unit of, um, where's the other heavy cavalry regiment? Dragona Regimente. Actually, have we got some more? No, I don't think we do. So get a unit of Dragoons and a unit of Light Dragoons. Good, keep that going. Yeah, it looks like Prussia might be sending an army to retake Cleves. I don't our guy's not gonna get there first. But if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. That one army they can only take in the short term one territory, so it's up to them which one they want to focus on. Oh, so they're gonna focus on Amsterdam very well. Oh, interesting, they must have more enemies to fight now because Schwerin is now a border territory that has had up to three full stacks protecting it. It's now empty. Hello, Hessen. Yeah. Hessen's a Prussian um, ally. Good. Good, so Hessen absorbs some of the blow there. So in theory, I could sail you guys to Amsterdam and try and take it myself. But I don't think that's the best decision. And get my main fleet back to Malmo. I get my frigate to dump their troops off the sh off the coast as well. And get my frigate 
back to Malmo. So you're nearly 100% replenished. And I bet if I put those guys into here... Oh, minus 10. That's not going to work. No, it's not going to work. Go back to there. You're going to have to stay in Hanover. Okay. Netherlands Infantry, Line Infantry, Regiment of Foot. At the very least, my units are becoming much more experienced and they're becoming much more accurate. No militia, not so much, but whatever. Let's hit N10 again. Let's see if the uh, Batavians can repel another Prussian attack, which I really hope they do, because that means it will soften them up for when we do our actual invasion. Sending more men up to the front. <laughs> they really need an enemy to fight. Prussia. Because you can see they just... They've got a border, finally, with an enemy. And they're just dumping men onto the front. Unfortunately, they're losing. Um, oh, that Hessen force just got obliterated trying to cross the river. Okay, so you men bolster that force. Ah, oh, you're one shot. Okay, you might take a unit of militia. Not ideal, but I'll take it. Militia's not terrible. Can you men cross the river? Well, first of all, there's a French general, Armand Philippon. We're going to cross, well, try cross the river. Can Mr. Scholarbrand leave Oldenburg? Minus four. No, he cannot. You ships have your orders to RTB. Let's put a frigate in Alborg. Okay, let's get uh, some more cavalry. So you get one more unit of heavy cavalry, then a unit of Hussara. Good. So you're at 2,700 now, so we're at to the point where we can't really afford to have too many more armies. At least not until we take Cleves and Amsterdam, push on to Brussels. If we, if we don't get Amsterdam, then at, at the very least we can try and push on and take Brussels. That would be quite a nice outcome. But then we will be on the front line with the French. So that will be something to bear in mind. I think there's a... The Polyntor War 3 is hard-coded so that the Russians and the Ottomans aren't attacking each other right off the bat because they want you want to try and make them focus on the, Rus the, um, the French. Okay, they're still depleted. Well, partially. We don't know to what degree. They have a bit of French support. But not very much. Again, the Batavian Republic is not at, is not, um, at war. But Reinhardt Bergstr Backstrom attack the city of Cleves. Um, we didn't get any visibility on what's going on over there, which is a pity, but... Do I fortify Hanover? Maybe. Maybe not. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time when we gobble up this pretty um, elite garrison here, guarding Cleves, and destroy a couple of pretty good, well, fairly good generals, actually, for the, uh, for the United Provinces. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. See you, everyone.